Hey y'all, let's check out Fantasy Island. Welcome to April Diamonds Day 3. Today we're at Fantasy Island Park. So this is a really, really cute um, fantasy themed sim. It is not TP friendly, but it is kid friendly. So bring the babies along. Um, I am in shared environment today because the way that this land is set up, it is best viewed with darker light since they do have a lot of neon aspects to it. Everything is so pretty. I'm noticing more than parks, um, they're doing a lot of like enchanted type spaces in Second Life. Not upset about that, but it just is, um, it's a thing that I'm seeing more and more. I love how you get to experience how other creators um, view fantasy and enchanted things. I love all the flowers everything's neon but then it does have just like a, a bit of a creepy aspect to it to kind of let you know yeah you know it's pretty but still kind of be on your p's and q's watch out for um things going on here but this is very pretty all of the colors so nice i do like this this would be very, very nice for um, pictures. Very, very nice. This is creepy as well. I'll do a quick outfit check. If this is nothing special, you guys, at all. This is literally a quick outfit that I just already had put together. And I was like, okay, we're going to wear this today. Just something really quick. Cute little bag i got gold accessories got my little earbuds in today with my glasses and so that's it you guys so this is a small um this is a smaller piece of land or this is a smaller parcel of land but they packed a lot of things into it and that makes it feel not so small. I really like that this is a cute place that you can take the kitties to explore for a little bit. They can run around, click on things. Everything is just so pretty to look at, especially in this lighting. This would be really nice for like a little romantic date in the park, just something different. And the pictures are gonna be really, really nice as well. They have lots of little seating spaces that are kind of all around, just little nook type seating spaces. So let's see what kind of animations they have in here. So lots of animations. This is cute. I love how the water, how the moonlight is reflecting off of the water. I love the lit path and just the neon lights. It's just so pretty. Every time I think I'm at the end, it's something else to see. I love the little fairy accents that they have. Where's that fairy at? Yeah, they have a lot of these little fairies all around. See if I can get a little closer. So cute, her hair look a mess, but that's all right. What's over here? I like how they have like little spaces behind spaces, kind of just little chill spots. What's this? Oh, I like this. It's like a cute little magical type thing. Okay. This is why I love exploring in Second Life. You find so many cool things. You get to see other people's creativity. And I don't know if they just assume people will like spaces like this, but they are always right. This cute little tree house. The little deer running around. 
They have cute little nooks, little cuddle spaces and places. Just have animations. Yep. So it looks like every cushion a person can sit on. I didn't see any cuddle options, but so they might have it where every pillow someone can sit on. So it's four of them. So four people could be up here. Very nice. Very, very nice. I want to see what's over this bridge so you don't have to have a huge piece of land to be able to build something so beautiful and so intricate look at the little bear is he eating a cookie or is he eating a mushroom when I tell y'all this is what I do when I'm in second life exploring this is exactly what I do. I'm clicking on everything. I'm zooming in on everything. I just want to see. It's so cute in here. So do you see why the lighting, I love the lighting how it was because if I would have had it in a brighter light, I wouldn't have gotten all of this effect. And so that's why on every land, they have um, a shared environment because that's the way that you're going to be able to get the most out of the space that they created. They want to be able to exhibit the land in a specific way. And so lighting is very important when it comes to that. You get the desired effect with the correct lighting. I love it. It's so pretty. This whole space. They packed in a lot in this small space, way more than I expected. So they have a lot of these little fairies all around. Super cute. Just everything is so enchanted. Now this is like a really, really enchanted fairyland. A lot of times they will add um, things to make it seem more enchanted but this is like a legit enchanted fairyland I'm trying to get in close there we go so cute I really love this okay they have a lot of these little angry mushrooms around and things like that they really make everything worth your while when you come here. There are a lot to, it's a lot to look at. Um, it's a lot to take in as a whole with all of the colors. They have lots of twists and turns and things like that. I definitely feel like this space would be a really, really nice quick little trip um, with whoever you would want to bring with you. Um, definitely bring a child along. Watch your kid because they got stuff like this, like fire and stuff, but... I think this would be fun for the kids to just kind of run around and just explore with all of the lights and all of the little cute little add-ons that they have here. It's just super cute, you guys. So I really enjoyed looking around Fantasy Island. They have so many cute little things here and lots to enjoy. So make sure that you bring your family, your friends, your boo thing, or just come by yourself to just experience this. So that's it, you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.